Kwaing Buntag! Okay, I have so many things to say about myself. <laughs> well, I, I'm in Dai Eliza Mali now and I'm nervous <laughs> and excited. And I've always believed that in Dai can do whatever I set my eyes and heart into. So, kinakabahan talaga ako. <laughs> okay. Nung bata pa ako, naalala ko, hindi ako binibigyan ng parents ko ng pera. So, sabi ko, okay, nakita ko na opportunity ko sa farm ng lolo ko. I'm sorry, it was 30 seconds. Were you brief about 30 seconds? Yes. I didn't know that. Okay. <laughs> okay. So what is one beautiful word, word in your local language, I dialect, and what does it mean? Hmm. Padayon. That means continue. Um, in life, I've failed so many times, but in our language, we are taught that no matter how many times you fall, you have to stand back up and um, smile and move forward. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Great question. Um, what is that one learning experience that you had as a child that made so much impact on you? Oh, that was when I worked in our farm, in my grandfather's farm. Because I didn't get paid for it, so I realized, okay, I'm going to work on the farm so I have extra allowance. Ako. And then I realized that if my initiative ka and you are hardworking, you can get whatever it is that you want in life. And now I'm here. This pandemic, uh, what is that one major uh, lesson that uh, you learned from this pandemic? That food is very difficult to get from the farm to your table. And that was a life-changing event for me to be able to volunteer in an organization move, uh, called Move Food Initiative. I learned how to become a driver, a tindera, uh, maybe a farmer sometimes, but now I respect farmers even more, and I hope I can teach everyone to really value the food on their table. If you win uh, the crown, how will you help your community? I have been helping my community, even though I don't have the crown yet. When the pandemic happened, I connected them to our um, municipal hall and asked for seeds, and now I'm looking at succeeding as an entrepreneur for our Vanilla Dream Farm so I can help not only our community but the entire Mindanao as well. Um, we are targeting to tar uh, help the coconut farmers and plant vanilla in between. So not only that, they, I mean like, what <laughs> the I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> okay, relax Eliza, relax. Okay. <laughs> what color do you think symbolizes the phenomenal woman? Hmm. Yellow. What? Actually, and women empowerment is violet, but my favorite color is yellow. Because when you see yellow, you ca uh, it captures your attention right away and makes you happy. And it's bright, brings you joy. That's okay. me. <laughs> so, um, if there is one spot in Davao City, man-made or natural, that you would like to promote to the world, what would it be? Hmm. Well, Davao City is known to be the home of the Dutertes, but we are also a home of 11 ethno-linguistic groups. So we transformed one park into a place where people can visit and meet all the 11 ethno-linguistic groups, including their houses, um, how, what they have in their homes, their costumes, and their people. And I want you to get to know them more. Let's go. Yes, let's go. <laughs> um, another thing that we hear a lot nowadays is work from home. Mm -hmm. So they say this is the workplace of the future. So what skills do you think is needed in this so-called work, uh, workplace of the future? Hmm. When the pandemic happened, I was able to grow a garden in my balcony and I believe in sustainability. So I think people should learn how to grow their own food in their backyard or balcony. So no matter how many pandemics happen, hopefully nothing will come in the future. Um, they will be food secure and they will never go hungry. There's a, there's a campaign, uh, uh, hashtag love local. Mm -hmm. So 
Uh, <laughs> you're doing here, yes, I'm. What local product do you want to promote and why? Mm, definitely the vegetables of the farmers. I want to make sure that one day we can help the food system be better because there are so many things that we can promote, but we are not helping our farmers to make sure that they can reach the markets. And I want to help them to be able to reach the markets right away so no more food will be wasted. Thank Last you. Is, what is one thing you think young people like you should focus on? Themselves. Um, you can never get anywhere if you, know, you don't know who you are. When you know who you are, you know where you are going. So with me, I know that I am a farmer and no matter how many places I visit, I would always go back to the farm and that's where I want to improve my community and my family. Thank you, that was the last question. Okay, Thank you. more. <laughs> Thank you. If there's anyone you wanted to inspire with your performance, who would it be? Hmm, I think the young Indies, because 